shake them. Shake them, bake. Get a couple extra pine needles down. How's it? Now the point is to get the queen. Try to get the queen. And she should be in the very center of the ball of bees. Did you get most of them in? Yeah, I think I did. And the ones that are flying, we know aren't the queen. The queen. Let's see what happens if they ball up again. Yeah, I was just going to say. Well, they should because there should be a little bit of residual pheromone on there anyway, on the branch. Yeah, they're balling back up. Maybe I should give it another shot. What do you think? Yeah, I think maybe give them a second to let them, give them a second to kind of calm down again and then go yeah. back up and get them. That sounds good. Give them just, I'd say, give them like another. Yeah, see if you can see the queen on here. They got a little, little gang of them right there. No, just a little water, regular bees. Hi, girls. What's going on? Not doing a very good video here. Still going back up there? You think the queen is still on there? Well, I think it'd be worth to just get as many to go up, let them calm down again, do a third time just to see as many as you. I don't think the queen's still up there. I think nice. I think it's just the pheromones. Yeah, they're they're just attracted to the you know they that's. That place, queen's in the box. She should be in the box. It's possible she's up there, but she's left her scent traces oh, up there, so that's why they keep going back up. See, and all these bees are trying to get in there right now. So I mean, I'm yes. pretty sure she's in. There. There you go, girls. Go ahead. Yeah, the more they, the more they go here, the more. If they... we could set up a hive on the side of your house and just move her in there, they'd all just zip right in there. You'd have your own honey, but, but... you know, that's, that's not being easy for the dishes. <laughs> they temporary hive. See them all? They're they're coming down here now. They they know she's in here. Well, I was gonna say you can still get probably another hundred bees if you go up yeah, there. Yeah, I'll, I'll give one last shot. You can see how, even though they're flying around, they're not. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I've never had much problems with them. The only ones I've had problems with are those keys and the ground. Yellow jackets. Those are the worst. Because they're fine up until the point today they're not fine. Yeah. I, That's, I was out playing golf on a plane chair and, and uh, one of the holes, you know, a lady. I was, had traps up on the hill and mm -hmm. I balled. I was sitting on top of the hill about between two traps. And the ball was sitting on a little mound of dirt. Yeah. Oh. So I went ahead and hit the ball and that's what it was. And oh, it was my ball. gracious. Good. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. I went to go take the shit in the yeah, those, I have, I have no love for yellow jackets. I had a, a nest in one of my tomato gardens one year, and all year they sat and ate the worms off tomatoes. I'm like, you're fine. Then they got to be fall, and they started getting aggressive, and I went out there, wasn't even close to them, and they came over and started attacking me one day. Honeybees are so much easier. They're just, yeah, see how they're hanging on those. She's pretty sure I got her in there. I don't think they'd be. Mm -mm. Yeah, yellow jacket can sting you more than once. Honeybee, once she stings you, she dies. So they, they really only sting if they absolutely feel like it's necessary. So a lot of times they'll actually warn you. They'll come over and they'll bounce off of you to kind of say, hey, you know, okay, back off. It's the ones that are left over, they, they should mostly make their way back to their old hive. Yeah. That's clean is gone. And it'll take them a couple days to for that, like I said, for that days. scent to leave on that tree. Because right now they they still are swarming around there. They're queen there, so what they think is their queen, but it's just probably leftover scent. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's less, less and less. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Every he's getting get more. It, it's, it's less and less, and and the way these guys are, the girls are swarming around this box here. I'm pretty sure I got her in there. Because they're very willingly. Going, going in. up in there now, so they know they know that their queen is in there. So the girls do all the work. The girls do all the work. The guys just kind of lay around and Absolutely. The when you make a new queen, when the hive makes like the hive that they left, they made a new queen to replace her. She'll do one flight. She'll go up and she'll you know she'll fly up and all the males will see her. They'll come over and there'll be a big mating swarm, and that's their only job. After that, they take the rest of the summer off. Yeah. So the males, you can tell, are a little bit bigger, but they have bigger eyes than the yeah. females do because that, that's their job is to see the queen flying from far away. All right, good job. <laughs>